Chris and welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? We got the Chicken Lips A500 out because Dr. Phil sent me a letter. It sent me a box with a piece of paper on it. And he sent in his A590 in white. This is a 3D printed case. I believe just comes off. Is it screwed in? I don't know. I'm going to be careful with it. And a note. And it says... It says $20. Thank you, Dr. Phil. That'll be your return shipping. A590 with power mod, but no boot. OS 3.1. I think I'm 2. Turn this on. Needs a look. Maybe the latest Commodore ROM. Top case is 3D printed. Thank you for all you do for Amiga. More coming, Dr. Phil. So I'm going to kickstart 2 ROM. So put this in his box. Thank you. Put this in your box, thank you. And uh, let's turn this off for a second. And let's have a look at this 590. This is as white as I wish my teeth were, but this is the perfectly retro-brighted four and a half years ago Amiga 500 that I did a video on a long time ago. Well, this is apparently uh, wire crushed into the lights where I can't get it apart to take a look it has a blue sorry a blue Zulu scuzzy I don't want to mess with the lights a super long cable with a Zulu scuzzy 1.1 and uh, that's that's what we got so we're gonna ignore everything we got right now we're just going to plug this into my 500. My 500 has the belly tray. What's the saying? Real men use floppies? Workbench 2.1. But I need to install 2.1. Alright, so we're turn this on and see what it does. Low. Nothing. I need to see what the Zulu is doing. That's what I need to see. So I'm going to pop this lid off. And see what the Zulu is doing. Um, the Zulu, okay, so here we go. The Zulu needs power. The A5, whatever the hell this is, 90, the A590 does not provide SCSI termination power. So this is black screening and doing nothing. What you need is a Berg splitter like this, where you have a Berg power to a Zulu that has no Berg. So this goes here, this goes there, but we're going to use this one because this is the reverse plug that goes into this, like so, that provides the power to the Zulu on the dude that you don't have. So, let's undo this, the cable here and let's take the Zulu out of its little 3D printed bracket here. I thought I wasn't going to have to solder this time. We're going to pop this 8 gig sand disk industrial card out. Good choice by the way. Here's your Zulu SCSI and right here is a header for a Berg power. I have a male Molex to male dude adapter where I need to put a 4 pin power dude on. Due to my space constraints I am not going to use the web tools. We're going to use the Hacko. These are 90s. Solder and iron should be hot by now. Find Lorena. Lorena, where are you? I see your black legs. Never underestimate your aging body. Cut four. Four. Put them there. Put these where I'll lose them. Right there is great. Boop. And that gives us our power right there in the top. But I gotta put it in first. Soldering's done. Didn't burn anybody's stuff. Now we have a four pin dude where this properly plugged in will fit like that. All of the jumpers are off. We need termination on. Actually all of these are wrong. Everything is turned on and it shouldn't be. Init, term. Only one you need is term. Let's put the card back in. See if we get a light. There's our light for SCSI. 
what happens if this card isn't configured we're going to get a screen of I don't know okay I don't have the SCSI plugged in might freaking really do wonders the longest SCSI cable on earth because why not we'll put it on a floppy disk because that's cool it's 3D printed let's set it back in there dippy dip let's put the screws back in it too normally this machine has its own independent power supply this has apparently been modded by doing the wire off of the uh, board where you can get power directly from the Amiga bus however due to the amount of power that's required to power a hard drive this is a CF solution you might run into some issues this is 38 watts more than the 12.5 that the Amiga originally had it's because he's booting something what's it booting? I don't know I'm kickstart 2 so there we go I was gonna re-kick I might have to re-kick this into kickstart 3 this Amiga has 1 mega RAM so load module failed yeah I don't have that this isn't my OS list Please insert my ENV. That's fine. I plugged the mouse into the wrong hole. Uh. So there is the Workbench 3.1. While we're waiting for this, got another interrupter of the day. <music> Mr. Jonathan, we're talking about my cooling solution on my Power Mac G5. So re-kick by Thomas Kessler. There's the re-kick. Take this out. This should load Kickstart 3.1 in RAM, and my workbench should load. Well, I'll try to send Mr. Matthew uh, some text, but apparently his phone stinks and he can't see it. So, UAE, test hard drive and Zulu SCSI hard drive. So we got ID0, DH0, DH1, 1 gigapop. Then we have this thing, DH1, 1,020 megs. But it's named DH0. Yet Zulu hard drive is also named DH0. As is, so this one's bootable. Cancel. This SCSI ID1 is also DH0 and is bootable. Let's take this out and call this, oh my, DH2. I just gotta see what's on here. I think it's just saved stuff. I don't know. So save and then save this I need to see what boots and what don't I'll tell you what an Amiga with 512k RAM is not 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 good all right now let's reboot I am re-kicked so it will just work now we're loading it is booting let's see if it's loading the ID0 file or the ID1 file Two, two installed DH zeros on here, so it's a little bit confusing. It was built in WinUAE. Load module failed. Object not found because the load module is not. So let's uh, EDS start up sequence. Oh, come on. Feel your anger. Oh, really? Hell no. Hey, I have Kickstart 3. That's good, right? If I had a shorter SCSI cable, I'd give you one, but all of mine are long, too. Okay, so here is what was on the drive, okay? I booted off an uh, install disk. So we can say DH0, that's what it was. This is 314, or 321. How do I know? Number one, two megs of chip, A500. I don't know what's going on here. This thing must have RAM in it. Don't know can't see one mega chip nothing nothing maybe my re-kick didn't work don't know about what ROM am I nope kickstart 2 my kickstart didn't load so this these are glow icons because I can't see the data type and magic workbench is on here maybe on system yep magic workbench so we have a DHO which is DH1 we have a DH1 which is nothing and we have a system which is Oh my god, then we have instructions and readme to nev 200f text. Multi view, multi view don't exist. All right, let's fix this pickle. OS 3.1. Says it right there. 
July 22nd, 2024. It's the middle of August because I'm slacker. OS 3.1. With power. A590 with power, but no boot OS 3.1. Maybe latest Commodore ROM. Well, she's been awake because I heard her talking to somebody about an hour ago, but she's finally out of bed. My kid's finally out of bed. It's 5.55 p.m. and I gotta run to Chick-fil-A. I'm back from Chick-fil-A. Let's get a hard drive file on this card. We know the Zulu works properly. The hard drive card is set up correctly. I'm gonna not use floppy disks and then I'm gonna build workbench on this and then just stick it in here. That way I have a 500 config which I don't have. Well that failed freaking miserably. I couldn't get the A590 to show up in well, I got to show up, it just wouldn't show the hard drive file. So I made it on uh, the Amiga. Put the hard drive file in, booted 3.1, ran HD setup, and formatted the drive. And then I found out that my format command was deleted so I could have room for something else I put on there. I don't remember these things. So I booted Workbench 2 to format the drive. Then I'll work, run Workbench 3.1 to format the drive because my kickstart is a 204. And I don't have all the commands in the ROM that the 3.1 had. So I'm running a virus scan on my 3000 while I'm watching the Hellraiser Lament Cube from X Screensaver. Talking to Mr. Q about a, a some subwoofer output something something on a speaker system. <laughs> ah, Christmas. So I have to re-kick it. I am just having the greatest day. There it is. Pain in the ass. Install. Let's install the damn thing. F12. Quit. I'll load it up full of stuff in a minute. I just want to make sure it boots. Rename it to HDA. Say yes. Pull this card out. Put this card in. In the Zulu of the 590. Turn Amiga on. Eject this disk. Whoops. Lose thumb drive. I'm not kickstart three. There, whoop, bleh, couldn't see it. There we go, booted, didn't yell. Alright, two megs free. Perfect. Let's run HD Toolbox from the um, Amiga itself. I want to see what it's yelling at. Let's do a show config real quick. 590, 2091, 2052. 58 meg RAM. 2 meg RAM. Okay, sorry. So 1 mega chip. ECS, NTSC, normal Denise. Alright, let's run the uh, HD toolbox and see what it looks like. We're going to get I. Check its thing. It's not UAE HF, it's SCSI.device. Okay. Run HD toolbox. Just want to see if it's being friendly. Kickstart 2, Zulu SCSI hard drive 1.1, partition drive, 1 Big Mama DH0. So hard drive's there, hard drive works. That took 23 minutes to unpack Magic Workbench 2. It's my licensed copy of Magic Workbench 2, but that's the only one I can find. It's okay. You can download it all over the place. It just happened to have my name in it. That's okay. And the address in there, I haven't lived there in 40 years, so knock yourself out. Anyway, so this is installing. It's probably going to take 10 or 15 minutes at 7 megahertz. How did we do this? Mm -hmm. We got 030s. That's what we did. Yep. But, directory opus, your basic crap color. Set this to 8 colors when you get a chance. And turn off the workbench patterns. Just that way you don't get marble classic everywhere. And on that note, the Amiga A590 for Dr. Phil has been fixed. Just some incorrect settings couple weirdness with the HDA files. When you ate it, took forever. Had to do some magic stuff. Loaded up with some basic apps. He can continue when he gets at home. By the time this video comes out, Dr. Phil will have his A590 back with glued down pegs so it doesn't fall apart and everything should be okay. That's all I got for now. So stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching and as always, I hope you learned something. Drive Phil got his Amiga thing.
Yeah. All forced in by the Chris guy on the YouTube page thing. Thanks, Dr. Chris. Can I get some ice cream now? Funny, you bastard.